Good YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time visiting my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Toyo, and I'm here to do a reading for you guys. So hit the like and subscribe button, and let's get into the video, all right? Now, collective, I'm definitely seeing somebody is watching you. Somebody is seeing you with rose-colored glasses here, okay? I do feel like you guys are very successful. I do feel like you guys have been leveling up, but there's somebody here that is in the background that is watching you, and they feel like you are getting everything that you want, hell, everything that they want here. But they're also looking at you with rose-colored glasses. So for a lot of y'all they don't see the work that you're actually putting in they don't see the prayer that you're putting in they don't see the action that you're putting in all they see is all of a sudden you popped up successful all of a sudden you popped up and you look victorious okay i feel like a lot of you guys you have been protected or you have been protecting your energy here and this is um causing you to elevate your thinking here so some of y'all you're not on the shit that you used to be on anymore you don't think the way that you used to think okay you don't do the things that you used to do Okay, you have really raised your vibration. But like I said, it seems like somebody from your past is now watching you and they feel like, wow, this person is really fucking winning. I remember they used to do this. I remember they used to be like this. I remember they were down here and they used to do this. It's like they're looking at you um, and they see that you are successful but at the same time. They don't really have access to your life. So they can only see things from a distance. They are looking at you with rose colored glasses, okay? Like I said, some of y'all, this is simply, oh, she gets everything. How does she get everything? And um, they don't see you putting in all the work. Like I said, they don't see you doing all the prayers. They don't see you doing the meditation. They don't see you eating healthy. They don't see this shit. All they see is you popped out fine. You popped out with money. You popped out and now you're an entrepreneur. You popped out and now you got a family. You popped out and now you got the best job you ever had. You take it how it resonates for you, but at the end of the day, yes, you really did elevate your thinking here, okay? A lot of y'all, this is somebody who you used to be friends with or you used to be connected to, but it says if, if you feel there's distance between you and them, don't take it personal. I feel like you, some of y'all, you uh, distance yourself from this person and they took it very personal. A lot of y'all, like I said, it's somebody here from your past. Um, so clarify, friends. What's... Yeah, I'm telling you, you and this person, y'all did used to be connected. Like I said, some of y'all, y'all pull back from this person or this person end up pulling back from you. I feel like the reason why you and this person are not connected is really having to do with miscommunication. Okay, confusion. One person's confused. Like, let's say... You started working on yourself. You started elevating your, your thinking here, okay? So that you can have your life the way you want it. It's like this person was getting offended because you became a little distant. But distant. But it's not like you didn't want to like, like fuck with this person. It's not like you didn't like them, okay? It's something of that nature here. But um, I do feel like this person from your past is very miserable. They're very, very miserable. A lot of y'all, you just realize you and this person do not vibe anymore. It might not be no beef. We just don't vibe. But cut I messy and miserable. What's going on? Yeah, somebody is very sad. Some of this person is very sad and very depressed. And like I said, they cannot help but to look at you with rose-colored glasses. They think that you're the shit. They think that you got it going on. Or this person feels like you are very, very close to making something happen. Like, they already see you have aligned yourself. If you haven't gotten... um to where you really, really want to be or where this person envisions you, a lot of you guys are very close or a lot of you guys, you have aligned yourself. But this person is looking at you with rose-colored glasses because some of y'all, they think you're closer to what uh, to what you're supposed to have uh, than you are, okay? Some of you guys, this person is looking at you with rose-colored glasses. They don't see how tired you are behind the scenes. A lot of you guys, they didn't see where you were almost about to give up, where you were crying behind the scenes, where you were saying, fuck it, but you decided to persevere. This person just think you do shit with ease. They don't think you get sad. They don't think you be depressed. I just think you don't pop out sad or depressed. Okay, but this person is really messy. This person is really miserable. For some of y'all, they were talking about you here. Okay, but it's, it's, it's because they're not happy. This is because they think you got a lot of shit going. You, a lot of y'all, y'all do got shit going on. Or you do got more things going on here. And others of you guys, like I said, this is them thinking you got more than what you got. Or like I said, them thinking you got it easier because they don't see the work that you put it in. So you're going to have to take it how it resonates. At the end of the day, this person is sad and depressed here. And they did want to be friends with you, like I said, or they were friends with you. But at the end of the day, this is somebody who were on, they were only competing with you. They didn't want to be friends because they like you or the way that you think. They didn't want to be friends because of anything like that. It's just somebody who y'all could have worked as a group and it could have worked out. But 
all the friendship energy keeps coming out in reverse for this person. This person never really wanted to be your friend. This person thought you were a level up. This person sees where you're going. And like I said, you felt like you and them really do not vibe. You and them really could not vibe here, okay? It's a somebody that was completely in their ego. So as soon as you allowed them in your group or as soon as you allowed them to be your friend or as soon as you collab with them, it's like they get in their ego and they start fucking trying to compete. OK, you might have felt that energy. and You were like, mm, this is more of a somebody that wants to compete with me instead of actually vibe with me instead of actually be my be my friend. So you let this person go or you decide it all in all. I don't want to connect with this person. And I feel like that hurt this person. Yeah. <laughs> Because this person really was going to bring a big fucking tower in your life. Okay? For some of y'all, this person, another reason why you cannot allow this person in your energy is because they cannot change their thinking. Like I said, you elevated your thinking. You changed your thinking here. This person was resisting change. They were stuck in their ego, resisting change, and they low-key wanted to stay sad and depressed. It's like you could have been like, Oh my God, we're going to do this and let's, let's, you know, on some high vibrational shit, speaking positive affirmations over yourself and everybody around you. And this person was like, oh, no, I think this is going to happen instead. Like they're a Debbie Downer. This person is really miserable. They're really sad. But at the end of the day, they're still looking at you rose colored glasses. Okay. I feel like I'm hearing everybody loves her. Everybody loves him. Okay. But yeah, at the end of the day, you and this person didn't vibe. And I think that's their main issue with you. Y'all didn't really vibe. I feel like it almost could have started. Y'all almost could have, like, they had the potential to be your friend. Y'all had the potential to go so much further. Y'all had the potential to collab. But at the end of the day, it didn't, it didn't happen. Okay? Because you realize you and this person just not going to vibe. You realize this person is very negative. Okay, and they're going to stay negative. They're never going to want to change their mindset. This person could have been looking at you like they, they were taking your energy in some sort of way, but they wanted you to like speak positive affirmations over them all day while they counteract whatever you're saying. Like you're over here speaking positive affirmations over them and everybody, and they're over here speaking negative affirmations over them and everybody. And it's just like, mm, you know what? I'm going to let you go because... I don't know what the fuck you want. Like, one moment you seem like you want to be lit with us. You you want to raise your vibration. You want to elevate. You want to rise up. And the next moment you saying, fuck, fuck me. You know, not really fuck me, but it's more so it's their energy. It's like, this is a gloomy person. It's like they're like, mm, they're, this is a gloomy individual. Okay? Um. So, yeah. At the end of the day, some of y'all, this even could have been a family member. This person looks at you as a money magnet. I feel like a lot of y'all, this person felt like y'all should have been making some type of money together. Yeah. But at the end of this person, they feel like you're a money magnet. And this person wanted to, I ain't gonna lie. The only reason this person wanted to connect with you anyway is because they felt like you were successful or that you were gonna be successful or you had the tools to make them successful. This person is a gold digger, some of y'all. A lot of y'all, this person only wanted to connect with you on some money shit. Some of y'all, that's why you didn't vibe with them. That's why you didn't connect with them for real. Because I think you're into real connections, real friendship, real, you know, we all, you know, we're all in this together, uh, genuine friendships, or you could just do it all on your own. This is somebody that was like, ooh, they targeted you because you make money. They targeted you because of the way that you make money. They targeted you because they felt like you could help them make some type of money or that you would give them money. Some of y'all, this is somebody that is always sad. And instead of asking for shit, they come around and pour out all their problems, hoping that you will come save them. Captain save a hoe. Okay. So this is like, they come around you and they're like, oh, oh my gosh. Like. Everything has just been going shitty all fucking day. Like, I'm broke as fuck and I got to do this, this, and this. And I have no money. And then they know you got money and they over there. And, and they know that you're a very genuine person. So you will be like, shit, here's 20. Shit, here's 100. Just give it back whenever. It's like that. That's the type of energy this person gives. So a lot of y'all, this person was never genuine to begin with. They only wanted to be around you because you have money or because they feel like your family has money. Uh, they they looked at you as a support system. Yeah, they they saw that you and your family was making money, or like I said, they saw they felt like if they connect with you, they would end up getting some type of long term success when it comes to their money. They felt like 
when they were connected to you, they were actually getting a lot of success or a lot of results when it comes to their money. Okay, but this person is it's something about this person's money. Yeah, or your money or your family's money. This person has no ideas and they're lazy as fuck. They're boring, like they don't have ideas. So this is their per this is their this is their issue. They don't know how to make money. They really only want to be around you because they felt like it was your aesthetic here. They felt like you and your friends or you and your family make money here. Everybody is successful in your friendship, in your family, or in this group that you're in here. So they wanted to connect with you and your friends, you and your family. But then you and your friends or you and your family or you yourself realize this bitch, this person don't got no ideas. They're lazy as fuck. Do you realize I'm doing all the work? Did y'all notice that? Did or you noticed yourself like, damn, hold up. I've been sitting here friends with this person. I've been sitting here chilling with my cousin and they ain't put in no fucking work, no fucking energy. I'm the only one doing this. Like this person was actually making a lot of progress by being in your energy. They are a fucking gold digger. And now they regret it because you was like, no, I'm not going to be your friend. No, I'm not going to be your lover. No, I don't care for cousins. I'm not going to be hanging with you every day. You got to do it your fucking self. Yeah, this person became kind of obsessed with your energy. So, yeah, this is how this person ended up losing you. Because at the end of the day, they tried to use you like you was a bank account or something. Or, I don't know. And you was like, you know what? At the end of the day, we don't vibe. I keep giving you shit. I'm not really getting nothing in return out of this friendship. Girl, boy, I don't even want to work with you. Okay? Now, they're watching you and they see you being successful. Victoria, some of y'all, y'all could have let this person go weeks ago, months ago, years ago. But now, they're watching you as success. And they're seeing you be successful. But they're looking at you rose-colored glasses. Because, like I said, they already saw you as wealthy, as somebody who had it. And they only wanted to be around you because you had it, because you were wealthy. But once you caught that vibe that this person only want to be around me because of money or they think that I'm the help or they think that I'm going to do this for them, you pulled your energy back. But now they don't know what you really got going on. But seeing you up right now is making them sad. And they also, they are looking at you rose-colored glasses. This person actually wants your forgiveness. Like, they want you to forgive them. They do want to, they low-key want to reconcile. But it's like, I don't know. What's the collective's energy? What's the collective's energy? Oops. What's the collective's energy? <sighs> Sorry. Some of you guys, you are... Some of you guys, you are very... Like I said, you are... Your energy is the successful energy. And some of you guys... Your success is on the way. Like some of you guys, you're already in an energy where you got this wish fulfillment. And the other half of you guys, you are aligning yourself. You have already started to elevate your thinking. Maybe you done pulled back from this person already. Okay? A lot of y'all, this person could have hurt. I ain't gonna lie. This person, like when you realize they wasn't genuine or something, I think that hurt your feelings. Because you, this is somebody that was in your community. Somebody, some of y'all, this is somebody you used to live with. It could have been a parent. Some of y'all, this could have been like somebody in your family, somebody that you were gathering with, collabing with, a friend. It could have been anybody. But I feel like this, what, when, um, when you realize that this person only wanted to be around you because you was making money or they felt like you could take them to the next level, I really do think that hurt your feelings, collective. <laughs> I think that hurt your feelings a little bit. And that's when you pull back. It's like you got clarity you ex and then you accepted it. Maybe you thought negative of this person at first, but then you got, you was like, all right, that's the clarity I needed. And then you moved on. It might have really made you sad. And yeah, you moved on and became happy. You became emotionally stable and then you connected with the person that you were supposed to connect with or the people that you were supposed to connect, connect with. But it wasn't this person. It was never going to be this person here, okay? I feel like for some of y'all, this person could have been looking at the bigger picture or you could have been really looking at the bigger picture. What's this person's energy? Some of y'all, this person really burnt themselves out, okay, trying to do too much that they don't really have the energy for, okay? But yeah, that's pretty much what I got for y'all. Y'all are protected. You don't have to think about nothing too much. Um, it's really the fact that, like I said, somebody from the past wanted to be your friend. 
They knew that you were going to be successful or they saw you or your family or your friends as successful or rich or y'all got money. They tried to use y'all instead of actually being in a group. They were in a group with you or they tried to be in a group with you. But then everybody in a group realized this motherfucker don't have no ideas. Actually, they just here. So let's leave this bitch where they at. That's kind of what I'm getting. Like they were just there, but they was making money off y'all or they were getting the popularity that y'all was getting. They were getting the same success y'all were getting by doing nothing. So you cut them off or they got cut off or you said, fuck it. I'm not even going to do this. Um, and now they're, they feel sad because they are watching you blow up. For some of y'all, I just feel like they saw some type of material wealth that you have. And they were like, oh, I should have been, I should have been in that group with them. Yeah, it's like some of y'all, they were competing with you, but they saw something that you had and they felt like, I should have been in that group with them. I should have been doing this with them. I would have been up right now. I would have been a star right now. They saying you as a star. They saying you as beautiful, like whatever vibration or whatever shit you want right now, they're in their head like, I should have been, I could have been that right now. Okay. A lot of y'all, y'all, some of y'all, this, this is a group of people thinking this way. Like, you don't stop fucking with a group of people. Um, and you isolated yourself. Maybe you're not even connected with another group of people. You might have isolated yourself and now you're the star in these people's eyes. Um, but, um, now I'm here. We could have been superstars. Remember when we was jacking cars, but now it's not safe for you. You switch like a pussy little bitch. I don't know if y'all don't want to switch like a pussy little bitch. At the end of the day, I think they switch like a pussy little bitch. Okay. Um, because you are a superstar to them. They could have been a superstar with you. But hey, it is what it is. Some of y'all, that's what they're saying. Like, man, we all could have been making it. We all could have been doing this. But I don't know. For a lot of y'all. It has something to do with money. Like, you realize, like, this person don't fuck with me. They only fuck with my money. Or they only like me because of my material. Well, they keep asking me about my money. Or it's like the communication they only had with you was about your money. Or about how you do something. But at the end of the day, you realize this motherfucker don't have their own ideas. So you went independent. A lot of y'all, y'all went independent and you left a group behind. Some of y'all, y'all end up leaving somebody out of a group or something i don't know it's gonna be different for everybody love y'all thank y'all bye go take a little trip it's such a future with me go take a little dip go take a little dive get that energy right we gon' get it together there's the car the cars the key clarity the cars the cars the key what you need Get right to my cellar.